As of two dimensional truss, since truss structure is considered as a special case of plain frame problems, an example of a two dimensional truss structure is selected to illustrate some features of LBLA for analyzing the plane frame. Geometry of the truss and loads are shown. The truss consists of four equal spans with 3 meter width and 4 meter height. The next modulus of truss member is 2 pi 10 power 8 kilonewton per meter square. Area of the member is 0 0.01 meter square. The moment of inertia of all members is 0 0.401 meter pi 4. It's required to analyze the truss assuming that all members are pin connected. This tutorial manual will not present the theoretical background of modeling the problem. For more information concerning the method of analysis, a complete reference for numerical calculation methods is well documented in the user's guides of LBLA. After opening LBLA program, we will start from file list and select new project and from the calculation method wizard we will select analysis of a plane frame then next and from system of symmetry wizard we will select unsymmetrical system then next and from option we will select slab with girders and supports then save the project to the destination folder maybe save it as truss then save it after that we will select project identification and write the project title project date and project name maybe the title analysis of Two dimensional frame two dimensional truss sorry and project name truss then save it then we will select fnet data to select the fnet data we will select a rectangular type of slab with Total length of 12 meter and height of 4 meter. The generation type of the Fnet, we will select the first for type. It will be a square with interval 1 meter in each direction. Then finished it. And then save and close Fnet. After that, we will select girders. First, we will select girders groups to enter the properties of the members. And here, we will select general cross section. Then, OK. We have Young's modulus, moment of inertia, area, and own weight. If we have for Young's modulus, it will be. 2 by e sorry 2 by 10 power 8 and the moment of inertia will be 0 0.401 and area of members is 0 0.01 meter square then okay after that we will add members or trust members then we will select add girders and we will select to start here and draw each member individuals
then we will save it and close girders. After that, we can enter the loads. Here, we will select nodes. We have three loads. H value is 60 kilo, kilo newton. In this uh, wizard, we will select load as vertical load PV here with the same direction. So it will be 60 kilo newton. Yes. We can change font from here from setting font and change it maybe to 5 yes and then save and close after that we will select supports for trust member we will edit all member or edit hinged member to do that we will select edit hinges and select each member by double click on it and select hinge type here as I and G the first or the start node and end node for each member it will be hinged yes we will do that for all members After that we will draw or select nodes. We have hinged support at this node, so we will select it and select add support. It will be hinged, so uh, displacement in x direction will be 0 and displacement in y direction will be 0. We don't have rotation here or it's allowed to be rotated. And for the last node here, it will be ruler support. So only W will be zero. Then OK, save it and close. After that, we will go to solver or select solver tab and select computation of all for calculation. Yes, after finish it. We will select results. We have results and plain for data. Here we have system of loading, boundary condition, girder system. If we have different member, uh, for example, system of loading. Yes. Here is the system of loading. We can uh, erase the ligand from here. We can select setting ligand and unselect play ligand and save close to have more space here for this drawing. Uh, also, we can change some setting from plot parameters, maybe solid element. We can unselect solid elements, save it and close. We can um uh, select display value and unselect element group or girder system here we can select view group to draw supports here is load with supports and from results we have Results of support reaction here. 
as vertical and horizontal reaction. Horizontal reaction it will be zero. And for vertical reaction, we have this results. Also, we can raise ligand from here. And we can draw beam results and claim we have normal force for all member. We can draw it. And also we have results of displacement in new direction and new displacement, rotation and stream deformation delta. This that's stream deformation. And that's all. Thanks.